Remember that the math modules, both of them, are going to go in order of difficulty, right? So the easiest questions will be at the beginning, the hardest questions will be at the end. But it's not necessarily perfect in that way, right? I actually think that question 22 here is much, much easier than either of the questions that came before it, 21 or number 20. So uh, it just goes to show that if you feel like you're running out of time, you start to jump around, right? You just you, Your goal here is to maximize the number of correct answers. So skipping 20 and 21 might be in your best interest because you could maybe guess randomly on those, but at least here you have a really good shot of getting the answers because what do we have to just do? This is just plug points into equations. We clearly have equations and we have points. Now there is a little bit of a twist here because the points on the graph are not the points we're gonna plug into the equations. We need to manipulate those points. By looking at this question, they're gonna give us an instruction. The scatter plot shows the relationship between these variables. Um, a line of best fit is shown. Data set F, a new data set, is created by multiplying the Y coordinate of each data point from data set E by 3.9. Which of the following could be an equation of a line of best fit for a data set F? So we gotta just change these points. But we're gonna approach this the same way we would any plug points into equations question. Let's start with a simple point like the y intercept. Right now, the y intercept looks to be something like, I don't know, 12. So we have to just do what they told us, right? We're gonna multiply that by 3.9. So we can use the calculator here, but let's say we're short on time. Here's a case where you could do a little rounding, right? Let's, instead of 3.9, let's make it four, right? So 12 times four is 48. So what we're looking for is what happens when we plug the point zero, 48, into all of these equations, or a better way to look at it, I'm gonna put zero in and I wanna get close to 48. Well, if I put zero in for A and B, it's gonna knock out these X parts and I'm gonna be left with 46.8. Close enough for now that I'll keep them in. Whereas if I do the same thing in C and D, right, it's gonna knock out these X parts, but it'll be left with 12, way too low. And that's probably the kind of answer that you would get if you didn't read the question, because you're probably just thinking about, all right, I gotta put the line, the, the, these points from the graph into these equations, and, and you kind of miss the fact that they're manipulating the, the points, right? So uh, that is a good example of something that you should see coming because yes, we are at number 22, right? So it's not the hardest question in this section, but it's hard enough that it's really just gonna be more than plug points into equations in the traditional way. We have to do some other little thing. There's always some little twist on questions like this, but it's a minor twist. It's a minor twist. I cannot stress that enough. So right now we're down to two choices. And what a lot of you are gonna do is make a big mistake and think conceptually about the slope. You're gonna be like, okay, look at the slope. Let's count the boxes. It goes up this many, it goes over that many, and you're gonna maybe even do two points and try to figure it out. No. Don't, don't do that. Don't go to the slope formula ever. You can always avoid it, or most of the time you can avoid it just by picking points and testing them out. So let's go now to the other end of the line, right? This is the point uh, 20 and I don't know, 42, right? Well, remember we have to multiply it. So I'm still gonna estimate, I'm still gonna multiply it by four so that it becomes the point 20. And I could do this in my head, but let's just, I think it's 120. 1620, uh, 42 times four is 168. Well, way off, this is why I use the calculator. Okay, so now we're plugging that point into these equations, right? So we have uh, 40, 47 plus six times 20, right? So 47 plus 120 is 167. So that's pretty close to 168. And I am rounding again, I am just kind of estimating because I don't know, why not? It seems like it's gonna be, it's not gonna be that close, right? So let's look at uh, this other choice, 47 plus 1.5 times 20. So that's 47 plus 30, and that's not even close, right? That's 77. So that's much closer to what we wanted. Choice A is in fact the answer. So if you got this wrong, feel free to comment what you did, I am curious, but my guess would be either you didn't read the question and you didn't recognize that this is gonna be a hard question, so you just completely ignored the fact that we're multiplying the points by 3.9, um, in which case I think you're gonna get something like choice D, but the other more common error is that you pick B, because you do exactly what I did for the y-intercept, but you kind of, for some reason, abandon ship and stop using a strategy to finish it up with the slope. And a lot of people are gonna go right into slope formula and you're going to do exactly, you're gonna use these points and I'm pretty sure that's what gets you the wrong slope. So you're just, just always 
Plug points into equations is better. The slope formula is inherently risky, but especially here where we're changing the points, it's better to just have a point and plug it in and see what happens. And in this case, you can even do the rounding, right? We have the calculator, but we could even simplify it further just by rounding, trusting that these choices are so different that it's not gonna be about the rounding, right? And it wasn't, it wasn't about the rounding. But uh, just to end here, I definitely think this question is way easier than the two that came before it. So if you didn't get this question right because you ran out of time, you need to change your pacing strategy. You need to make sure that when you get to kind of question 15 or so, you start flipping through those extra questions, those last few, and saying, what am I gonna be able to get right in the shortest amount of time and the most confidently? And anything that looks like this, where you've got equations and points, is absolutely a target because it's just plug points into equations. With a twist, but still just plug points into equations.